आज मेरा इरादा था बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम और से दैट टुडे आई हैड द इंटेंशन दैट आई शुड बी मेंशनिंग अबाउट सम कंपेनियंस फर्स्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट रिस्पेक्टेड मिर्जा अनस मसाहिब हु हैज पास्ड अवे रिसेंटली आई विल बी मेंशनिंग अबाउट हिम बट टू द पीपल द पीपल हु हैव रिटन सो मेनी लेटर्स एंड सो मेनी थिंग्स दे मेंशनड अबाउट हिम सो देन आई थॉट that uh, i should mention about him today mirza anas musaib who was uh, he was the eldest son of hazrat khalifa tun si salis rahimullah taala he has uh, at the age of 81 he has passed away in rabwa recently in allah wa inna ilaihi rajiun he was uh, a, he was uh, he was the eldest uh, grandson of hazrat muslim maud razila taala no and uh, nawab bar ka um saheb in nawab mohammad ali khan saheb he was uh, the uh, grandson of the <coughs> so he was my uh, related to me as brother <coughs> uncle's brother son <coughs> and uh, earlier education he had in qadian <coughs> and then completed in rabwa <coughs> and then did masters <coughs> from punjab university <coughs> and uh, he served in college for some time and then he came to oxford university in england and he studied here he did his masters here by the grace of allah in 1955 he dedicated his life and in 1962 practically he, he entered in the practical life and very dedicatedly he worked in various departments with great zeal and dedication he was a man of that type ilm e hadith the knowledge of hadith and philosophy and english literature he had deep study in these uh, subjects and particularly with hadith he has got very special link and uh, attachment and uh, with his own desire Moli, Moli Khurshida Musab, late Moli Khurshida Musab, he got the early education in Hadis, and he he had a good library. Very rare books were there in that library. He was very fond of reading, and uh, if any student would come to him for guidance, so he would give him very good information. Uh, the sources of Hadis, the volumes, they were available with him. and from various uh, book stores he had collected those books his uh, life when he dedicated his life uh, at that time in 1955 when he presented himself hazrat muslim maud razi allah taala no he mentioned about him and he said that in jamaat the uh, appeal of uh, dedication of life Uh, i made there were three applications one is from my grandson uh, uh, mirza anas ahmed sahib who is son of mirza nasir ahmed allah almighty enable him to fulfill his intention and anas ahmed has written to me that i wish that after learning law then i should dedicate but now you can appoint me wherever you like i am ready for every service by the grace of allah 56 saal tak for 56 years he served in various jamaat offices and departments his initial appointment was in talim ul islam college as lecturer and then in 1975 naib nazir islah ul shad he was appointed then additional nazir islah ul shad and he was private secretary to khalifa ul masih salis and also in the first visit of khalifa ul masih rabe he was with him he was uh, also administrator of jami ahmadiyya and he was nazir talim for some years naib nazir diwan was also one of his duty in tareek e jadid he was uh, working at the capacity of wakil ut tasnif he was doing the service march 99 he was uh, wakil ul he was appointed first wakil ul tasnif and in 99 he was appointed wakil ul ishat 
In 97, uh, according to age, he got retired, but uh, he continued to serve till the end. In Khudam al in Ansar al he offered various types of services. Brahim Ahmadiyya and Mahmud Ki Amin, uh, he translated that into English, that has been published. Surma uh, Chashmariya and some other books, he was working on those. The, when our schools were nationalized, after that, the Jamaat started its goals of own under Nasser Foundation. He was the chairman of this department. He was member of Majlis Ifta. He was member of Noor Foundation. Noor Foundation has been established so that uh, the books of Ahadis could be compiled and published and with the translation and commentary. Musnad Ahmad bin Hanbal, he was uh, doing the Urdu translation of Musnad Ahmad bin Hanbal. Huzur says that when the migration took place from Qadiyan, and then Hazrat Muslim Maud has mentioned one incident, which is a very historic thing. Hazrat Muslim Maud, uh, in this, his own service which he did, it is related to that, but uh, Mirza Samad is also mentioned, that's why I relate. Hazrat Muslim Maud says that when we left Qadiyan, so I said to my family members that uh, you will get the same amount of langar which is given to other people because uh, it was a very a tight situation financially. I had given the instruction that because of a financial constraint, the one bread should be given for each person and the same thing I asked uh, the member of my family that you will only get one chapati and one bread. And uh, my grandson, Anas, he came to me weeping and crying and he said that he says that uh, I am not filled, uh, satiated with one uh, bread and if his uh, stomach is not full with one, so then you give me half of the uh, bread and half of that can be given to Anas Ahmad. Hazrat Muslim Maud said this. So in this way, so I, I will be able to live on half the bread and he will have one and a half. So when there is no condition for the for all the guests, when the condition will be lifted, then I will lift the condition for family members as well. But uh, unless the, uh, until the time this condition is there, you give him uh, half the loaf of bread from my bread. And uh, later on, when the production was good and uh, Allah Almighty opened various other ways of income, then all these uh, restrictions were lifted. His uh, son in Son in law Mirza Wahid Amasab says that once uh, uh, I was going to Bukhara and Samarkand on, on a journey, Mirza Anas Amasab told me that you are going there. So then you go to the grave of uh, Imam Bukhari and convey my salam and also pray at, at his grave. And this was because of his love for the Holy Prophet that, uh, that uh, the person who uh, hundreds hundreds and thousands of years before he compiled the treasure of the sayings of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. He deserved that we should pray for him and also convey our salam to him. Dr. Nuri Sahib writes that whatever experience I had with him and for a long time uh, he was able to treat him that uh, whatever time, uh, job was given to him he would complete that with a passion he was very dedicated, very hard working and dedication. He would uh, discharge his responsibility. Despite weakness and ailment, I have seen the, uh, I have seen uh, him translating on laptop in, in the hospital. And for hours, he would uh, translate on the computer. And uh, uh, his uh, companions, uh, they would bring the reference from the Holy Quran and from the books of the Promised Messiah. And he would always say, that I only have the desire that whatever task has been entrusted to me by the Khalifa of the time, with the help of Allah, I may be able to complete that. Nuri Sahib says that his memory was also very remarkable. The ahadis, the sayings of the Holy Prophet, he was a great lover. 
and uh, Muslim Maud al-Islam and uh, his khulafa incidents he used to relate in such a fine way with dedication that uh, it always captured the heart of the listener. And uh, when he, 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 his eyes used to be filled with tears when he was relating these things. He was very uh, forbearing and uh, very full of patience and in difficult condition he also showed patience and courage and he every tight situation he always you know faced that with courage and because of his uh, sickness he, he was unable to hold uh, one cup of tea but despite that he always continued to his work do his work and very dedicatedly he is uh, discharged his responsibility and there was never ever any moment of complaint he was always pleased with the uh, decree of Allah. Nuri Sahib says that uh, he used to meet everyone with smiling face. That was a special quality. Tahirat Institute, one day before, uh, he came to meet me. And because of sickness, there was tiredness on his face. But despite uh, that, he smilingly he said that I feel that my end is near and I'm going to meet my Allah. So, in a very smiling face, he said this. So, gratefulness, uh, Nuri Sahib writes about this quality, that uh, he was very grateful, this quality was uh, very high. And uh, he, on two occasions, uh, he told me that uh, the way you have uh, looked after me and treated me, I cannot pay back that uh, ever. And uh, mentioning the, his sentiments, uh, uh, Nuri Sahib says that he uh, gave me uh, that diary of Hazrat Muslim Aud on which uh, Hazrat Muslim Aud had, had written his dreams. And, and uh, similarly, a quote used by Hazrat Khalifat Masi Salis. And also, along with the medical team, he was very kind uh, to all members. In his uh, room in the library, I have also seen, Nuri Sahib has also mentioned that uh, uh, all the four walls, they were, f uh, they, all the shelves, they were filled up to the roof with books. And, uh, and there were various uh, books on various topics, they were also there, which he said that I have all uh, read all, all these books. Mir Dawda Musa Marhum's daughter says that uh, there are very old memories have come to my heart and in my mind. And Khalifat uh, Musi Salis, his uh, remembrance was also there. He said, she said that uh, my, on the occasion of one marriage, when I went there to check the arrange, arrangement and Brother Anas was uh, sitting there and crying, I was surprised that why he is there so early. And uh, he said that today I am remembering uh, your uh, father and I was praying for you. His uh, uh, nephew um, says that uh, in, in happiness and uh, in grief he was all, always there like a brother, like father. And there are some uh, you know, up and down in the relations in the family but he would forgive as if nothing has happened. But if he felt something that because of that uh, uh, my advice somebody has uh, has uh, his uh, sentiments have been hurt so then he would apologize next day he would seek the apology Nuruddin Shamsa additional Vakilut says that uh, with me uh, I have many sittings with him and uh, I always found him uh, very kind although he was quite senior to me but he never ever uh, he, he mentioned this superiority of age and knowledge and experience. Nuruddin Sam says that uh, since uh, I have uh, I have contacted him with the, the in the in the in the work of uh, translation, I found him very helpful and very dedicated. Whenever work was given to him, he was always uh, uh, very dedicated, and he he would say that give me more and more that whatever job I can do in sickness. He was closely attached and dedicated to the institution of Khilafat and whenever there was uh, some su subject was discussed, so he would always say that convey my salam to Huzur and he used to send salam and, and then he would 
and then he would ask that uh, uh, the Khalifa of the time is not unhappy uh, with my work and he was very, had this concern all the time. Hisham Sahib says that uh, uh, bis- and despite sickness, whenever a job was given to him, he would very happily uh, try to complete it as quick as, quick as possible. He translated uh, some books of the Promise Messiah's book and he has uh, served uh, very nicely and dedicated services he has done. Brahi Namudiya, he has some parts of that. He translated very nicely some parts of it. And uh, to finalize the translation, uh, uh, he, and uh, they remember all the time the depth of the meaning in the translation. And whenever some instruction was given, particularly when the Tasneef would give instructions from uh, from me, and uh, then he was asked to give the opinion, then he would give his opinion, very candid opinion. Anyway, uh, he was a scholar and he had deep knowledge and uh, which the Jamaat has been deprived from that, Allah Almighty create more uh, scholars in Jamaat. One quality which everybody has mentioned, missionaries have also mentioned, Shamsab is also right, that he would respect the missionaries very much and uh, uh, and always guide them uh, in matters of knowledge. Hafiz Muzaffar Masab, uh, additional Nazar Islaw Shad Mukami, Rabba says that Mia Sahib was a man of good qualities, a kindness and love of Allah, a love of the Holy Prophet, modesty and mercy and kindness. And these were the outstanding qualities. The duties of Allah and the duties towards fellow being, he would take care of that. He would look after the poor and the destitutes. He would not uh, let anybody who questioned for something. And uh, whatever may be the situation, Half Sahib writes that he was a scholarly person and he was very keen to increase his knowledge and for that he worked very hard for that. Hafsab says that he mentioned to me once that Hazrat Musim Maud's book, the, the first round of his reading of his books, he did after the metric examination when the holidays are there after the 10th class. In that, uh, at that time, he mentioned, he has also mentioned the same thing to me and also gave me in writing, in one of the writing. That first time I completed the full first reading at the age of 15, 16, I completed a first reading of the, the Holy He was a lover of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. says that uh, he had a great close attachment with the, the knowledge of Hadith and for that uh, he personal reading and study, he also uh, created the capability for him in Arabic language. So, he, and uh, apart from Hadith, he used to uh, study other books as well. Sahih Bukhari, he learned Sahih Bukhari from Hakim uh, Khurshid Sahib and I said that before going to college, uh, I, have, I have seen that he used to go to Hakim Sahib and his uh, car would uh, stop there and uh, he would uh, study some hadith, lesson of hadith and then he would go for other things to do. And he says that uh, after that Siha Sitta and other books, uh, with personal interest, he read all these books and uh, until the last moment he continued study as a, uh, 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 as a student and he has compiled, he, has, uh, he, he collected the books of Hadith, very rare books were also there and his personal library uh, is, is a very unique, is a very scholarly uh, and he was so fond of uh, ilm Hadith and ilm rijal and uh, on other various subjects and asul uh, hadith, the principles of hadith. Uh, and uh, he, he had several books on that. He was very deep study and uh, also used to discuss this matter in intellectual discussions. It, uh, he, the translations of uh, Siha Sitta, the six volumes of hadith, when I, I established the Nur Foundation, and uh, so that, uh, as I said, that uh, they should translate the books and uh, publish. And uh, 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 in that, uh, Hafsab Sahib says that uh, Mia Sahib was also uh, appointed as a member. And uh, Mia Sahib, despite his other office uh, engagements, uh, personally, Musnad Ahmad bin Hanbal, he is he the most, the most difficult and long task he took upon himself. And along with other engagements and uh, weak health and 
uh, he continued doing that and uh, translation of one part which has got hundreds of hadith he has completed that his service will remain as a, his memory. Then Hafsab says that his love of Hadith uh, is there. It, it was there when he used to uh, give the Darse Hadith with very carefully, with deep study and care. He would give the Dars and various aspects of the uh, life of the Holy Prophet. He used to bring it very rare things. And there was a special emotion, commotion in his voice. And uh, I, w I used to limbon, uh, live his dars and a very special feeling of uh, love and in a, very, uh, in a way which uh, goes deep down into the heart and uh, the people would enjoy that. And uh, one feels that as if he has gone to the earlier period of Islam. And in Jalsa Salana Rabwa, he had the uh, good fortune of uh, 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 delivering a speech there. Shamim Parvez Sahib says that uh, his dedication to, uh, with Khilafat, one thing is, uh, you know, printed in my mind that when the Khilafat Rabia's uh, election was there, at that time I was Qaid Zilla district young and duty was outside uh, Masjid Mubarak. When Hadrat Mirza Tahir Masab came out of the Mehrab uh, and, and uh, he, he was elected, the announcement was made that he was. Uh, Mirza Anasya Masab, I saw him that uh, because of, uh, despite the heat in June and on very burning uh, soul, uh, he uh, fell in prostration expressing ready. Dr. Ithikhar Sahib from London says that he was a true dedicator of life. And, uh, and uh, in translation of the books and the publication, uh, he was busy till the last moment. And his uh, translations, they were very ded dedicated and uh, some time in order to select the right wording of translation, he would spend many days. And his uh, sense of obedience, uh, Khalid Sahib of Russian desk, he writes, that uh, the personality of uh, Mia Sahib, whenever it comes to mind, I feel that as if uh, his uh, uh, his, he was completely dedicated, dedicated and to the statement of the Holy Prophet Utlubu lilma min al -mahde he was just a, a true picture of that. He was very fond of learning various uh, branches of knowledge uh, to find out something new and to any opportunity to learn something new, he would never let it go out of hand. And the hadith of the Holy Prophet and the subject of hadith was the most favorite subject. And, uh, the languages, the knowledge, uh, he was also uh, very much fond of that. The hospitality uh, was also a quality in him. In 2005, uh, when, when Hamad Ali Sahib, Sadr Jumat Amdi Russia, uh, who is also a Muslim in Moscow, uh, in the preparation of the Russian translation, uh, he was in Rabwa. Khalid Sahib said that uh, I have had the opportunity of working together when I was finishing the and uh, he, he guest house uh, uh, guest house the residence was there at the uh, at the time uh, the required thing which are uh, uh, which was according to the taste of the guest they were not there Mirza Anasim Sahib came to know he immediately called me in and he said that uh, Rustam Saim is our great uh, respectable. Uh, um, uh, uh, guest so take care of his requirements and give the money from his pocket and all the needs uh, things he need you get those things and if you need some more help tell me and I told him that everything is has been provided according to his taste and uh, later on regularly he used to ask about this thing Muhammad Salik in Burma he says that uh, one incident uh, from the student of Sri Lanka uh, impressed me very much. Munir Ahmad was the name of the student. He was from Sri Lanka. He came to study in Jamia. And uh, he is working in Sri Lanka as missionary. During the study in Jamia, uh, he fell seriously ill. Uh, Mia Sahib, uh, with great worry, day and night uh, would come to the hostel and inquire about his 
as if his own relative has fallen ill. Uh, at that time, he was the administrator of Jamia Ahmadiyya. Shamshad Sahib uh, from America, missionaries, that in the meeting with the missionaries, he, he would always create, try to create the passion of uh, Tabli. He was very fond of uh, study. He would always uh, tell them to tell the missionaries to study more and more. And he himself, uh, uh, always having a, a pile of books, and Bukhari Sharif was particularly, and uh, he, he would talk to the missionaries uh, coming to him. On Shahid Mahmood Sahib, from missionary from Ghana, he writes that uh, uh, I have the opportunity of uh, working in Vakalat Eshad for 12 years and in Mahanama Tariq Ejdeed and other uh, jobs. So uh, I learned so many things from him. Hazrat Musi Maudri Islam's uh, love and the love of uh, Khilafat and obedience to that, he was uh, completely filled in his heart uh, with the name of the Promised Messiah. Uh, many times there were tears in his eyes and uh, particularly the translation Surma Chashmariya and Brahin Ahmadiyya and Mahmood Ki Amin. During the translation he would ask me to sit with him and many a time uh, he would he would call me to go to his home. Uh, there was no uh, thinking of uh, the day of holiday or the working day. He used to work late at night and uh, despite that he was uh, very careful about my hospitality and he was uh, very, very kind to me. And uh, uh, for the Zohar prayer, he has appointed me to lead the prayer and all the workers in his office, they used to offer the prayer. And uh, when I understood that when he is uh, s offering his uh, sunnat, then uh, he would, he was not uh, never in a, in a hurry. He would offer the prayer diligently and very kind to the staff members in the office he says that one, once uh, despite the illness I was in the office, so he he gave me forced leave for six uh, days and sent to home. And he himself was coming to the office and continued to do the work at home as well. Ayaz Mahmood Khan Sahib, Vukal Tasneef, UK says that regarding the work, I have learned so many things from him. <coughs> because he was uh, translating the books of the Promised Messiah, very diligently, so all the difficult uh, occasions. So there he uh, he would tell us about those difficult passages, and uh, one thing which particularly he used to say that uh, while you translate, you don't uh, uh, don't put the literal translation of that word from dictionary. You have to see that that word which has been used, uh, it should not be diminishing or decreasing the status of the promised Messiah. And if, uh, if some literal translation is not right, so then the real subject, uh, one should find out the word which conveys the true meaning. And he was so much in love with the translation that in sickness he continued doing it. And many a time he told me that uh, because of my sickness, my pace of work is slow and uh, sometimes I, I cannot do, I feel tired and uh, I can't do as much as I wish. But still six, seven hours, I do sit and do the work regularly. Uh, I have seen sometime he used to work for uh, 12, 13 hours or 15 hours. He used to work for that long. Ayaz Sahib writes that when we went to Rabwa, so then Mia Sahib also took some classes for us and he used to say, and always whenever I spoke to him later on, he used to say that uh, you should study literature and try to get into the habit of studying all types of books not only religious books alone, you study philosophy, literature, novel, and you will get improved improvement in your knowledge and your language. And it is very essential for you because you are going to do the work of translation. So it is very important for you. I said that uh, I consulted him regarding the translation of one word. So uh, what do you think should be the translation? Mia Saab, uh, he kept uh, quiet for some time, then he told me two, three, words and I told Mia Sahib that Hazrat Chaudhuri Fulakha Sahib has translated this word in a different way, he has done it and he was very happy. So that he said that, that is right, that is the right translation and uh, and uh, with great respect for Chaudhuri Fulakha Sahib, he said that his language was very good and you use this word which he has used. And then he says, Ayaz Sahib says, 
that I have always seen that Mia Sahib, his uh, uh, understanding and knowledge, uh, he would uh, never ever uh, show off in front of the Khalifa. And whatever his, his opinion was there, and whenever I, I tell him that, giving reference to me, when I told him that Huzur has said like that, he would say, I was wrong, and whatever Huzur has said, that is correct and right. And in this way, he gave me the lesson again and again that uh, in, in front of Khalifa, his opinion is right, all other things are wrong. And uh, and he is the one we have to follow all the. Sheikh Nasir himself, a member, a Karkun of Russian desk, he says that uh, I have uh, spent 16 years in Vakalat e Shat with Mia Sahib and I have learned so many things from him. He was a very kind friend. Uh, and uh, he never ever made me realize that I am subordinate to him, junior to him. If he felt that I have felt like that, my parents are not there. Uh, so then in that case, uh, so he, you take me as your parents. And he says that with all the workers, he was very kind. And if uh, because of my mistake, there was, a, 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 there was some reprimand, very light although, but he would remember and next day, the, he would ask that you have forgiven me and I said Mia Sabha even did not uh, think that you scolded me but if he is angry he would keep quiet and uh, we uh, we knew that he is not very happy and after uh, some time he would uh, telephone for some other job and he would not keep anything in his heart and whenever uh, any responsibility from Khalifat al Musi was put on him so then he would consult his uh, colleagues and uh, pl plan how to do and the most important thing he would take uh, in his responsibility and despite sickness living at home uh, he would try to complete that job and some uh, time he felt the difficulty in coming uh, to office then he would ask the uh, workers to his house and do the office work there there was no question of holiday and free day and he would uh, do the work in the, lying in bed same time he came on bicycle with me to the office to do the work. Amir Majid Sahib, he, he says, that uh, I have uh, had the opportunity of serving with Mia Sahib. He was de completely dedicated to Khilafat. Whenever he has to write effects, uh, he is uh, to me, he is mentioning then, he was very emotional at that time. And uh, if some task uh, uh, or duty was allocated to him, so in order to complete that, he was very restless. And if uh, he was not able to do because of sickness, then he was very upset. And uh, uh, Mahmud Mujid Sahib say that there was a kidney, a stone in my kidney and operation was done in hospital. So he said, my father uh, told me that unless the operation was done, Mutram Mia Sahib, respected Mia Sahib, uh, he would, uh, uh, you know, walking uh, outside the theater and he continued uh, praying for me. A Bhatti Sahib, a Karkun of Ishaat, worker in Ishaat department, he says that uh, in 1995 uh, till the end I had the opportunity of working with him. Uh, he was very kind to the workers and colleagues and very respectful and whenever he would call somebody, he would say, you sit on the chair and then uh, he would uh, start talking. And when there was a displayer, shown of displayer to any worker, then very soon after that, he would become very kind and courteous and uh, sometime he would seek apology from that person. He would do a And uh, he once uh, uh, asked something and I uh, uh, refused that and this was a very uh, un uh, very bad on my part but he just felt it but uh, he simply said that you should not have replied me like that he says that uh, because of my knee problem I couldn't all come to the office when I was late so uh, uh, there was written the word late and the cross was put and if uh, there are some so many crosses there so then it is equal to one day off and the Mia Sahib uh, himself uh, uh, recommended to Vakil Ayala that he is uh, not feeling well, so therefore this cross should not be put. 
and uh, Mia Sahib uh, to the poor students and the widows and other people and also give them the uniform and books and those who are out of job he used to recommend their case. Yasanullah Sahib Murabi Asilsla Ghana he says that uh, I have uh, nine years uh, under him I have worked he was uh, he was dedicated to the institution of Khilafat and in a very fine way to all these uh, workers with him he used to inject this feeling in them and once he asked me to sit uh, close to him and uh, said that uh, I am writing a fax to Huzur and when he started dictating Hazrat Khalifat al-Masih Khamis Ayyadahullah Ta'ala then he wrote the uh, voting. Then he was focusing his eyesight on that in a very emotional way. And then he mentioned uh, other things related to the subject of Khilafat. And uh, the workers with him, he was very kind to them. He would never let anybody stand in front of him. Uh, during his sick, serious sickness, he was happy. And if he scolded somebody, reprimanded, then he would uh, next day consolation was offered by him and uh, what sort of uh, uh, consul uh, I mean every mother was there it was only a slightly loud voice and there was no hard word or no scolding was there and if uh, if would ask uh, see anybody doing like that he would say that this is not it Muhammad Tala Sahib uh, he is a teacher in, in a Jamia in the subject of Hadith he says that uh, for one year uh, I have uh, Sayyid Fahad Sahib Murabi Asilsla, we have the opportunity of learning hadith from him. And apart from others' his responsibilities and ill health, despite that, he would uh, he was always very keen that uh, this hadith should take, uh, lesson should take place every day. And once he, was, he did not come to the office, so then he, uh, for the purpose of teaching, he asked us to go there. OS Sahib, Vakalat Ishaat, member of he said that uh, uh, only a few months ago I was appointed in that office. In these these months are memorable months for me. On every moment, every occasion, he looked after me very kindly, and uh, uh, and there was difference of 55 years. But uh, I felt with him as if this difference is just uh, nominal. The, his speech was very good, and uh, he he used to make the uh, sitting and talk very uh, enjoyable. And uh, uh, he, uh, this uh, responsibility, he used to say that I have got this responsibility of translating Muslim and Ahmad bin Hanbal. And uh, uh, he, he never ever thought that he won't be able to complete that. Never ever thought of that. Jami Amdiya Rabia, Muhammad Kashif, a student from Jami Amdiya, he says that uh, regarding my thesis, uh, uh, I was doing something about the private sectors of uh, the Khulafai Ahmadiyyat. So I went to him many times. Alhamdulillah, uh, he gave me a lot of uh, love and kindness and gave me a lot of time. And he gave me in detailed interviews. And once he was emotional way, he was saying that uh, the effort and the labor of a person is nothing. But this is the nutshell of my life and just of my life. All that I have, that is the blessing of Allah Almighty. That is because of Khilafat. Asif M. Zafar from Rabba says that uh, sometime before his death he was in between in Tahir Heart and I went there and uh, despite uh, the extreme pain a mask was on his face oxygen mask and uh, I introduced myself so he removed his mask and started talking to me I said that Mia Sahib Allah Ta'ala Fadil for my and Allah Almighty will bless you and uh, he said that uh, uh, that if Allah Almighty calls somebody it is also a mercy of Allah Almighty I was surprised he says the writer says I was surprised that he was completely depending on Allah Almighty he was not afraid of death with Khilafat the various people which has been writ written about his uh, attachment of Khilafat there is no exaggeration rather his attachment was more than that what the people have written and in every uh, in every action, uh, in every example, he has showed this uh, deep, close attachment with Khilafat. Rather, when Khilafat al-Mutsi Rabi 
اپوائنٹڈ می میرے مقامی ناظر اعلیٰ ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم بیکاز آف دی اوبیڈینس آف خلافت ہی شوڈ ٹوٹل اوبیڈینس آف دی امیر اینڈ ہی ٹک گریٹ کیئر دیٹ آئی واز تھرٹین فورٹین ایئرس شارٹ ان دی ایج بٹ ہی کمپلیٹلی اوبیڈ می اینڈ آلویز he showed the example of total dedication with the with khilafat and total obedience allah almighty have mercy and kindness upon him and uh, and uh, the getting of the blessing of allah almighty and mercy of allah almighty what he has mentioned allah almighty grant him and uh, give him a place among his beloveds and uh, also enable his uh, progeny to be dedicated to khilafat mirza ghulam ahmed sahib when he passed away then he had uh, uh, he saw a dream which i mentioned that uh, day before yesterday when mir uh, ahmed passed away uh, passed away at that time i was uh, seeing a dream that uh, uh, mir khurshid and uh, mir ahmed have gone to allah and they have met both the, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasallam at that time i had the desire that allah almighty make it this way that my meeting with them could also take place in that way so i submitted that oh my allah you also call me uh, in your nearness then allah almighty said that you come forward so in this way allah almighty give me the place uh, under him and uh, allah almighty and allah almighty gave him the glad news of the maghfirat and forgiveness and allah almighty continue raise his status and his progeny also should remain very dedicated and religious dedicated